Hello everybody, how y'all doing? My name is Rafael and thank you for watching today's video and today we're going to talk about the Division or Division 1 as we call it now because you know now we have Division 2 and Division 1 uh, but back then it was called just the Division and if it's actually worth playing in 2022 if it's dead if there are still people playing if it's good and things like that so let's get started I'm going to start with the easy part and that's you know answering the question if it's worth playing in 2022 and the answer to that depends on if you have played the game before or or not if this would be the first time you would play the division then i would definitely suggest you to go and buy it for a very low price of like five ten euros something like that and experience what this game has to offer it is different to the division 2 in a lot of ways it is similar however in some other ways as well in my opinion the biggest difference between those two games division 1 and division 2 is the atmosphere is the immersion and it's the you know the state of the united states when the story happens in the first one and the second one what i mean by that is that in the first division the division 1 you have new york and pretty much everything is collapsing, society is collapsing, government has collapsed, the military has failed, and you know, it's just you in an almost apocalyptic world where, you know, crime rates are very high, you know, everything that you knew as, you know, society doesn't exist anymore, everything has changed, and it's taking place during the winter, right? So you have the snow, which in my opinion, Division 1, at night time with snow is just one of the most beautiful looking games I've ever played and I've ever seen. It's just amazing the feeling that you get when you're roaming the New York street with all the, the snow coming down your face. It's just amazing. Division 2, however, is taking place when things are starting to build back up again, when society is starting to, you know, get its shit together. There is a form of government or something like that. We are actually trying to rebuild, right? In Division 2, we are rebuilding the world, and in Division 1, we were witnessing the world as it was collapsing. And for all the people seeing society collapse and try to play during that time and try to save what you can save is much more interesting than just trying to help rebuild society. So that's question number one. In case you haven't played the game at all, I would suggest you, if you want to give it a shot, to go ahead and give it a shot. If you have played the game in the past and you're thinking if it's worth going back, well, there isn't anything new. If you have done pretty much everything that you wanted to do, there won't be a lot of things for you to far more to do. But in my opinion, a lot of the legendary missions on Division 1 and the Dark Zone specifically is much better than legendary missions and, uh, and how the Dark Zone works in Division 2. So if you want to go back and just try to do hard content by yourself, I'm recommending Division 1 because it's going to be fun. Division 2 also has a lot of build diversity but the the missions themselves i think that division one has better missions pvp wise in the dark zone you know uh, division one is hands down the better option to go now it doesn't matter if you have played the game before or if you're going for the first time one question you might have is is the game alive are there other people playing and the question to that is kind of there are a lot of people playing as you can see right now your screens i have a detailed list with how uh, how many average players each month has had since February 2021, so the last year pretty much. As you can see, one year ago, February 2021, the game had 761 average players per day. And as you can see, that number went down and down and down and down. But since November of 2021, the players have been returning back, it seems. Last month, January 2022, was the highest month since February 2021. So basically, there are people that are going back. Right now, there is a global event active in Division 1. So there are still people playing. I'm pretty sure that no matter whether where you want to play, is it on PC, is it on console, is it on PlayStation, Xbox, you can find small communities and have fun with them. You can find a couple of, uh, a group of people that still play the game and you're going to have fun with all of them. But what's even more important, in my opinion, is that Division 1 and Division 2 can literally be played all by yourself and you're still going to have the same amazing experience. Overall, I've said that, many times in my channel division one is one of the best games i've ever played i just wish that when it was the main game i would have spent more time playing it because back then i didn't really play it a lot i started playing division one a lot when the content for it just stopped and we were waiting for division two to drop that's when i actually started playing division one a lot 
Uh, I played at once. I played during, you know, the, the life cycle of the game, but I wasn't playing as much as I was with Division 2, for example. I just, and I just wish that I could go back and play when the game was actually, you know, at its best. But yeah, that's it pretty much. Uh, the game is definitely not at its best, but it's definitely not dead because, you know, there are people that are, are going back and playing it. And to be honest, I don't think that there are a lot of people who haven't played the game even though they wanted to give it a shot by now. I'm guessing that all the new players that were about to play Division 1 have already done it. And now we just, you know, the player base is just people going back and remembering how the game used to be. But yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope that, you know, it helped you and that you find it helpful. If you did, as always, please make sure to drop a like and to subscribe for more content. I really appreciate it and it really means a lot and it really helps my channel. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.